everyone, it's Christine, the Mighty Murfin Fashion Ranger, and I wanted to say Merry Vlogmas. I'm very excited since this is my first Vlogmas, and I hope you like all of the videos that I'm going to post. I really am going to try to post every day until Christmas, so there should be 25 total, and I hope you're as excited about it as I am. If you saw my day number one, um, it was decorating this lovely Christmas tree and I decided for day number two I wanted to shoot in front of it because I thought it was appropriate and festive as well as this really cute Santa hat. Um, so this is actually going to be my first story time that I'm doing on my channel and I hope you like it. It's going to be a dorky Christmas story about me when I was in like sixth grade. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, basically, I went to public school in kindergarten and first grade, and then when I was starting second grade, my parents decided to move me to a Catholic school. And if you know anything about Catholic school, you know that it's usually like very small classes. So I think our class had like 32 people in it at the time, and that was your entire class. So you were with those people all day, every day. You never had like any other mixes of kids your age like that was the group of people that you spent the most time with and there was a boy and I just thought he was really cute and for the sake of this story since I don't really want to say his name um, we will refer to him as Kyle um, so I thought that Kyle was just so adorable so cute and funny and I just had the hugest crush on him for probably like let's say like three years so that's second third and fourth grade well when we got into fifth grade um, his parents decided to homeschool him instead which I was completely devastated when I showed up the first day of fifth grade and he wasn't there and then I found out that he was being homeschooled and I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna see this kid ever again. This is like the worst thing in the world. Well, I didn't realize at the time that he had an older sister that went to school with my older sister. So occasionally um, I would see him with his mom picking up his older sister from school. So I was like, this is awesome because I'll at least get to see him every once in a while, even though he's not in the same class as me. So I can't exactly remember because he was homeschooled for two years and then came back, which obviously I didn't know that was going to happen at the time. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if this happened when I was in fifth grade or sixth grade. I'm more inclined to think that it was sixth grade. Um, I decided one year, that year for Christmas, that I was going to get him a present. And in my like 12 year old brain, I was like, well, if I get him something fantastic, he's obviously going to then have a crush on me. And then, you know, things will just be perfect from then on. Um, so I convinced my mom to let me buy him this big, like stuffed, football that I believe had like his favorite team on it. I don't remember what exactly that was um, right now because I don't remember. Um, but I remember like going to pick up my sister from school and he wasn't with his mom right before Christmas. Um, so I just, I gave it to his mom and I was like, hey, this is for Kyle, if you could like give it to him for me for Christmas, I, I bought him a present. And she just thought it was super adorable and obviously like she knew me and she knew my mom so like she just thought it was really cute. So I was so excited because I was like, well I guess I can't watch him open it but maybe he'll like, maybe I'll see him after Christmas break and he'll like hug me or something. I was so excited about it and thinking about it now, it's like <laughs> the logic of a 12 year old. Um, anyway, so his mom gave it to him obviously and the next time I saw him, <laughs> uh, she had him come up to my car 
and I rolled down the the window. I remember sitting in the back seat. I like rolled down the window and she was standing there with him and she was like, tell her, like, you have to say something. And he was just like, thanks for the football. And I was so embarrassed. Like I didn't know what to do. So I just like, gave him a thumbs up and like kept my eyes straight, like didn't even look at him. It was so awkward. Well, I guess his mom wasn't like satisfied with that <laughs> interaction. So she had him call my house. So I get home. I don't remember if it was that exact same day or like a day later, but I remember getting home from being out somewhere and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a message on our answering machine. And if you are as old as I am or older, you know that we had actual answering machines that had like little cassette tapes in them and that's what would record the message and then that's what you would play back. So I remember hitting play and it was his voice and he was thanking me for giving him this football. And you could tell like his mom was in the background, like pretty much telling him what he should be saying. And it's so terrible to think of now because he probably thought I was like so lame and so weird. And his poor mom like just wanted to be nice to me and wanted it to seem like he really liked what I got him. So that was really sweet of her, but thinking about it now like that's so uncomfortable to like do to your child I would imagine but I mean you want them to get good manners so I I get the concept behind it but anyway so this message like I just remember listening to it and thinking that it was like the greatest thing in the entire world and to the point where I don't remember I kind of feel like I had like a boom box that I like recorded it on. I know that sounds like super creepy and I don't, I don't mean it to sound creepy, but when you're like a 12 year old girl and you're, you have like a huge, what you think is a huge crush on this guy and he like calls you and leaves you a message. Like, I feel like if you've experienced this, you know what I'm talking about and it's not creepy, especially when you're a child. Um, because you just, you think this is like, oh, the greatest thing ever. Um, so I fully recall like replaying that message back several times because I just, I wanted to like listen to his voice, I guess. And like, I think it was also partly because he wasn't at school with me anymore. So it was like hearing his voice was kind of like he was there and I could see him or whatever. Um, but moral of the story is he came back, I think in like seventh grade to my school and I was super excited after that. But I just wanted to tell you this little story of mine because I thought it was dorky and quirky like me. So hopefully that gives you a little insight into what I was like as a preteen, um, you know, boy crazy and kind of obsessive like any teenager would be. Um, so that's my story time for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching my channel for more uploads since now I'm going to be uploading daily for Vlogmas and there will be some fun things in there. I'm gonna try to do like some fashion stuff because that's mostly what my channel is about and then also throw in like some DIY and decorating and some some more story time. So definitely check that out and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and leave me some comments if you have anything that you would like me to do for Vlogmas. I have a whole list of things that I wanna do but I'm definitely open to suggestions. So thanks and I will see you guys next time.